Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Stuff. In this video, we'll be learning how to use card views inside the Recycler view. Also, I will provide link to download my source code in the description box. So if you have errors, you can check with it. Okay. So what what are the Recycler views? Recycler view is just advanced and flexible version of list view. Okay. Uh, list view was only supporting simple linear list view. But Recycler view come with three types of list that is grid layout, linear layout and staggered grid layout. Okay. Main difference between list view and Recycler view is the view holder pattern. Recycler view works on view holder pattern. You can also use a view holder pattern with list view but uh, we often use Recycler view with view holder pattern and it works efficiently. Okay. So what is a view holder pattern? So view holder pattern doesn't load the whole data at a single time. It just load the data which is displaying on the screen at the moment. Okay. Uh, it holds the view and helps us in recycling. Okay. So you can see on the screen here, we have Peaky Blinders card and the Narcos card. Okay. As soon as I scroll this view up, uh, this Peaky Blinders card gets attached to the lower of the breaking bad card okay this is how view holder pattern works it just uh, removes the upper card and attach it to the lower one okay and loads data in it let's create the app and see uh, practically how this view holder pattern works and how the cycler view works okay so let's fire up our android studio and start creating the project so I have created one empty project here. So first we'll import the recycler view dependency and the card view dependency. So we'll just uh, click on this download and it will automatically import a dependency for us. So now we'll search here card view and we'll import the dependency of card view. So now we'll just uh, drag this list view to our screen. and we'll constraint it and we'll set the width and height to the match parent and we'll provide it id as a recycler view and we'll just uh, initialize it in our main activity.java so private recycler view m recycler view and let's uh, find its id so m recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view here we have discussed that recycler view supports three layouts so we'll be setting here the layout so m recycler view dot set layout manager and we'll be using linear layout so new linear layout manager and we'll pass here context that is this now m recycler view dot set has fixed size and we'll pass here true okay now we'll create one layout for our card so just click on layout new layout resource file and we'll name it as an item and we'll be using instead of constraint layout we'll use card views So I will press here Alt Control L so it will format my code and just change the height to wrap content and card corner radius to 15 dp. Okay and now we'll add one relative layout here. So it will be of match parent and match parent. So we'll add one image view here. Uh, which will be match parent and height will be 270 dp and we'll provide it id that will be image view and scale type that will be center crop sorry let's clo close it and we'll provide here one text view so height width will be wrap content let's set in a dummy text so we'll be setting coding stuff and text size will be 22 sp 
and textile be bold and center horizontal will be true and layout below image view okay now it's cool so so now we are going to create one model class if you are coming from java background you may already know what is model class a uh, model class helps us to get the data and set the data uh, we use encapsulation concept there so we are going to just create it so just click on your package and new java class we'll name it as a data model and we'll use two variables so that will be int uh, image resource and one will another will be string so private string that will be image name okay and we'll create one constructor here so public data model and it will take two parameters so int image resource sorry and string image name this dot image resource will equal to image resource this dot image name equals image name so we are not uh, getting the data or from database or firebase so we don't need to set the data we are just using raw images so we'll be using here just the gators so click on generate and the gators it will automatically generate gators for us so this is it for data model class now we'll create uh, one array list so before that i'm going to just copy some images from my file manager so just copy it and i will paste it in my drawable folder so now we'll create one array list so array list that will be type of data model and we'll name it as a data models equals new array list semicolon now we'll add our data so data model dot add and new what a new data model okay and we'll pass here two parameters so first will be r dot r dot drawable dot pk blinders and another will be its name so Peaky blinders okay so i will just duplicate it so control d control d control d and now i'll change this image name to breaking bad and this to game of thrones and this to my hist I'll just name it as Anihist and to this let me provide one more it will be narcos one of my favorite series okay so we have add the data to our list so everything is done now just the last step is remaining that is setting the adapter so before setting the adapter we have to create one adapter so what is adapter so recycler view and the data cannot communicate with each other directly so we need one medium so recycle uh, so sorry so adapter is the middleman which commun communicate with recycler view and the data it uh, fetch the data and throws it to recycler view so we have to create one class that will extend to recycler view adapter so we'll be just creating new class so we'll name it as a my adapter and it will extends to recycler view dot adapter okay so there are lots of steps involves uh, while creating the adapter 
so the first thing will be we have to create one class one inner class so that will be view holder class so my view holder and it will extend to recycler view dot view holder and we'll press alt enter here and it will create matching constructor <coughs> So this is the first step that we have to do. So we'll just uh, remember the steps here. So this is first step. So now we have to uh, just initialize our image view and recycle our text view, which are here. So we'll just initialize them in our my view holder class. Okay. So image view m image view and the text view m text view. So we have to find their IDs using this item view. Okay. So m image view equals item view dot find view by ID r dot id dot image view and m text view equals item view find view by ID r dot id dot text view. So maybe I have a way to give it ID. Yep. So ID will be text view and the error will resolve. Okay, so this was the first thing. Now we have to pass here our view holder. So my view holder. Okay, and the error is still there. So we'll press Alt Enter here and it will ask me to implement some method. So I will implement those methods. It provide me three methods. Okay, so we have to implement them all. So first we'll create one array list here. So array list that will be of data model and we'll name it as array list. Okay, and we'll create one constructor here. So public my adapter uh, array list data model and we'll name it array list this dot array list equals array list okay sorry i forget to write those step numbers so this was second to create array list and put it in the constructor so we have three methods to implement now so we'll be implementing first uh, this method on create view holder so third and this will be fourth And the last one will be get item count. So we'll number it as a fifth. Okay. So what on create view holder does, uh, it just create the view. Okay. We have this item view, the one view. It will create those uh, all the views. Okay. Uh, how much data we have? It will create that much views. Okay. So we have to inflate our item dot XML here. So we'll create one view and we'll name it as a view and layout inflator dot from and the context so parent dot get context dot inflate so our layout name our layout dot item and the view group so parent and the false okay and we'll return here new my view holder and we'll pass here our view okay so this method will create the view and the on bind view holder will set the data okay uh, here we have one image view and the text view so it will set the data to that image view and the text view okay so first we'll create your data model sorry data model instance so data and uh, array list dot get and we'll pass here position okay so it will fetch the data from here from this array list and it will uh, save it in our data okay we have to set the image and the text okay so we have to use this holder instance to set the image and the text so holder dot m image view dot set image resource and data 
dot get images image resource okay and holder dot m text view sorry m text view dot set text data dot get image name okay this is it and the last method we have to implement that is get item count okay so how much how many uh, views this method has to create this method will tell it okay so we just have to pass here size so our list dot size okay so we have created our custom adapter now we have to set it to our recycler view so we'll create instance of our my adapter so my adapter adapter new my adapter okay and this adapter takes one parameter that is array list you can see it this constructor that is array list so we have to pass our array list here and data models so we'll pass it here data models and the recycler view m recycler view dot set adapter and we'll pass here our adapter okay this is it now we'll check our app is working or not just click on run so uh, it runs very decent one thing we can customize here that will provide it margin so it will look some bit or it will look better so margin that will be of 13 dp okay let's run the app again so yeah now it's cool you can scroll it so this is card views inside the recycler view it may look complicated for the first time to understand the working of recycler view just uh, replicate my project for the first time and create two three projects on your own and uh, it will get simpler okay so this was the first video on recycler view i will be also creating more videos on recycler view how to fetch the data from database or from firebase into recycler view so make sure you subscribe the channel and thank you for watching